At an age when some executives are slowing down, Roberto Padovani is far from it. The Qualcomm chief technology officer plays forward for San Diego's United International soccer team. Uh, I'm out in the soccer field on Sundays playing soccer and I enjoy it enormously. I always play soccer since I was a, a young uh, kid in Italy. Uh, I love skiing and um, driving fast cars. Walking briskly through a sea of Qualcomm technology patents, including more than 60 of his own, Padovani seems perpetually in motion. Young Roberto grew up in Verona, Italy. He came to the U.S. for graduate school at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, speaking very little English. Then I met Colleen, who later became my wife. She did not speak Italian, so there was no choice. We had to speak English. Padovani became a teaching assistant for UMass professor Jack Wolf, now a professor at the Jacobs School. Wolf introduced Padovani to San Diego-based Maycom Linkabit, and the electrical engineer joined the company in 84. Both the masters actually and the doctorate degrees were in information theory, coding theory, uh, digital communications. One year after Andrew Viterbi and Erwin Jacobs left Linkabit to start Qualcomm, Padovani followed. He worked on the spread spectrum technology known as CDMA, which most experts believed was not feasible for cell phones. And we proved them wrong. Hi, Dominic. By the mid-90s, Padovani was looking for the next big thing, a new evolution of CDMA optimized to transmit data. I wrote a white paper sketching out the main ideas on how to leverage all the experience and uh, know-how that we had accumulated in deploying voice over CDMA, how to leverage all that understanding and apply it to a data-only system. Padovani deployed the experimental high data rate technology at Qualcomm and on the roof of UCSD's Engineering Building Unit 1. To allow uh, UCSD students and faculty to play around with the system and give us feedback on how it was working, to come up with new ideas on how to utilize the system for new services. First UCSD, now the world. Known under brand names such as Verizon's Broadband Access, the technology Padovani pioneered is bringing high bandwidth internet connectivity to consumers through cellular networks helping to bridge the digital divide. And the next version of Qualcomm's revolutionary technology, due in 2007, will support voice over IP. Early this year, Padovani was elected to the National Academy of Engineering, which cited his groundbreaking work on CDMA for wireless broadband data. Now, Roberto Padovani is the Jacobs School's Executive of the Year 2006.